Hey everyone, my name is Rudiman Rana, and today I'd like to present my app, Pi Equal Home Energy Tracker. So this is basically a Python app that takes your electricity bill data from your say pg and &E bill, whatever, and uses that to understand your electricity consumption, your carbon footprint, and, um, and to find out which devices in your home are using the most energy. So here are the problems with their day-to-day -day, uh, uh, battle against climate change. The first one being energy tracking. So right now, users really don't have a way of tracking how their energy consumption is changing year over year, month over month. And so, for example, in the winter months, is my energy increasing because of the heat? How much do I need to turn it down? That kind of thing. The second problem is where's the energy going? So people don't have a way of finding out which devices in our home are using the energy inefficiently. For example, I remember this time when I accidentally left my uh, refrigerator open uh, and for the whole night, the refrigerator was running at top speed and that increased our electricity bill for that month by nearly $50. And so it's, an inc it's incredibly important to understand which devices in your home are inefficiently using energy, which can th therefore reduce our carbon footprint. Which brings me to my next problem, where people don't have a way of finding out what's our carbon footprint on our earth. What, how much energy are we using? And is it renewable? Is it solar? Is it coal? That kind of thing. So here's, here's the app objective. But with my app, I hope to solve all these problems by plotting the data and finding out the electricity trends by using linear regression models in my algorithms to find out where the electricity is going year over year and month over month, to add home devices to identify which devices are using the most energy, and to make a final report that tells you how much money, you're, what your cost is, your carbon footprint, and your total electricity consumption. So let's start by doing a live demo. So let me start to share my screen. So it's going to start. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna see is a search start screen, which initializes the GUI using TKinter right here, which is the main user interface for my whole app. So we start and then we have a login and sign up page so that users can kind of customize their thing for them so that they can see their old previous energy reports that they make so that they can see how much they're improving um, uh, based on the last time they checked their usage. So I already have an account, but if you needed to, then you could sign up today and create an account. So again. Okay. And so now once we start our um and log in to the app, we will see that there is a um dashboard where I can see some of the reports from previously. So for example, this is one of the reports that I did before when I was testing the app. And I saw that okay, so from 2018 to here, I had a huge peak in 2021 when which was like the COVID time usage and we were having all the carbon and we were using we were at the home a lot. And that's when our carbon footprint, our cost and our kilowatt hours were all peaking. And we also have a text report over here that tells us exactly about what's happening. So now let's create a new energy report, then import the data from the CSV file. And so this is where you go to PGNE. Um, but unfortunately, I'm not logged in, but you can get this data from PGNE by logging in or and then uh, downloading the data. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use my own sample build.csv, which is all of these this data. So I can open it and contain to energy report. Okay, so at this screen, um, the computer's gonna ask me to like add my home devices so it can get a general understanding of what our home looks like because it doesn't know anything about our home or appliances. So for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna add just uh, three items from each of these categories. So let's add a refrigerator, which we use about eight hours a day. And then we can add perhaps a light bulb and we can say we use this for about six hours a day. And we can add a laptop, which I use for about uh, five hours a day. And we could also add a um, modem, which is always on so 24 hours a day. OK, so uh, not ideally, you would want to add all of the home devices. But since we don't have the time, we can just continue here. 
So at this point, we're just going to use all these algorithms and try to process all the data um, using all the algorithms that I've written here. And then we come to our final home energy report summary. So here, what pops up is a live graph that we can zoom into and um, we can look at different parts of it. So for example, I can zoom into 2021 here or in my recent months where it's been cutting off. And then over here, we can see our highest consumption devices, how much energy it's using per year, and then um, uh, some recommendations to it. And also our year over year energy consumption, please. At the bottom, we see our total home energy status statistics, such as our energy cost, the consumption, and our carbon footprint. In addition, I'm also using Plotly on the side in case you want um, a scatter plot like this, the lowest um, graph that shows the trend line that's been happening uh, since 2018 all the way to 2022. Unfortunately, I don't have the latest data from my Twitter for till 2023, but this is as far as I got to. So this is all the data points that we have. And as you can see, it also uh, eliminates any kinds of like, for example, um, on August 30th, it was an outlier here where it was suddenly a high jump and increase. And by using LOAS, it tries to stick to the regular trends of it. And yeah, that's my app. So let's go back. So why should we use the Pi Eco Home Energy Tracker? Well, for one, it's easy and efficient to add your devices and to check. Um, even if you don't add your devices, you can still see how much your carbon footprint and all of those important statistics. Then number two being that it reduces your electricity bill by understanding when, when you understand which devices are using the most energy and you can figure out, oh, okay, by reducing my consumption on this or trying to use this less or keeping it more efficient, then we can reduce our electricity bill. And we can decrease our carbon footprint um, but since your electricity bill and your carbon footprint are kind of correlated. Thank you so much for listening. Um, some of the future things that I'd like to add to my app, including integrating with the pg &E API, uh, connecting this to a web service such as Vercel or something so that I could, uh, it could be a web service for everyone to access, then make a consumption usage comparison by region. So for example, we could have multiple users across many, um, we could have multiple users across many regions and stuff, for example, San Ramon, Dublin, the entire California, and we could understand if our consumption is appropriate for that area or and if we need to decrease it to come to a median level. And also to add compatibility with Google Home using their APIs and stuff so that we could, so if we have thermostats or smart plugs, for example, I have a Nest thermostat, which automatically shows all of my eco days, such as the days that I'm using my thermostat, the days that I'm not using my thermostat, how long I used it for in that month. And I could use that data to further accurately represent my home energy data. And yeah, thank you so much for listening.